Hey there, good morning. It's Derek Sanderson coming at you from EXP Realty for this week's Monday morning market update. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at that number there on the bottom of the screen. But for the sake of Monday mornings, we take a look at what's going on with single family residential homes here in the Chico area. Again, any questions about anywhere in Butte County or any other segment of the real estate market, definitely reach out and I'm more than happy to get you that information. So why don't we jump in to this week's Monday morning market update. Okay, currently, as of about 8 a.m., there are 165 active homes on the market, 87 under contract. For those 165 homes, that median list price is coming in at $554 thousand dollars in an average of 44 days on market that active listing number is starting to creep up which is great news for buyers uh, more inventory means more to choose from okay taking a step back just a little bit looking at the last seven days so this is the first week of august 28 new listings 26 went under contract 21 had price reductions and we only had 16 homes closed. So again, tracking those price reductions for you because we are in the beginning of a housing market that is starting to normalize. Normalize can mean a lot of different things. However, I don't believe the market's going to crash and we'll do a video on that at a later time. Okay, last 30 days for a little more context. We've had 94 homes sell with just an average of 19 days on the market and a median list price and median sales price both dropped significantly from when we looked at last week by about 20 to $25,000. And you can see here, again, the median list price is in fact higher than the median sales price. So again, we're not seeing that median sales price be 20, 30, $40,000 over the list price. Now there's some homes on the market, if they're priced correctly and they're priced well, yes, they'll go over asking. However, again, this is a sign that that market is starting to cool down a little bit. Okay, interest rates. Uh, it jumped up about 30 basis points from last Monday. We have had a lot of volatility uh, happening in the last couple of weeks with the feds raising rates and things like that. So this is a number you're going to want to keep an eye on, especially if you're a buyer, because this will influence your monthly payment, which means how big of a loan you can take, therefore how much you can pay for a house. And if you're selling and you need to buy, this is important, but also this number is going to affect the people looking at your home to purchase. And as this goes up, their buying power goes down, which means your list price, your ask price is going to have to stay in line with that, which means price reductions. So again, price reductions are happening more frequently, but that's a conversation to have with your agent. As always, if you have questions about that or want a sounding board, feel free, reach out to me. And every Monday I post a Monday morning motivational quote. And today's is do what you can with all you have wherever you are. Now, when I hear that, this is what I think about. No matter what, do your best. Take everything that you've been entrusted with, that's called stewardship, taking that and doing the most with it that you're able to, no matter where you're at, whether that's the season you're in life, whether that's a physical location, it doesn't matter. Where you're at right now, you were created and placed on this earth for such a time as this. So what does it look like to do everything possible with all the resources that you have that includes physically, emotionally, relationally, spiritually, financially? What does that look like? Doing the best that you can with what you have right now in this moment. So I'm going to challenge you where this week can you ensure that you are giving absolute 100% with the resources that you have been entrusted with. That's all I've got for you this week for Monday Morning Market Update. And I hope to see you all next Monday as we take a look at the numbers again. Have a fantastic week. Stay cool. And I'll see you all again very, very soon.